one, a chance win will have you dancing on the ceiling. Now, why do you think Anthea, with Mystic Meg in hot pursuit, is cycling to our lottery studio? Well, it's because tonight we have exclusive news. It's the first ever Millennium Award. It's for millions of pounds, and it's going to be announced live during the next 15 minutes. Stay with us. It's the 43rd National Lottery, live. Tickets ready? Yeah! But do you have trouble getting the right numbers? Yeah! Well, in that case, I reckon who you need to meet is Lancelot and Guinevere, who are two hamsters owned by Chris Jones. Come on, Chris. Yeah! Now then, how much have your little furry friends netted you so far? Uh, about £200. Hey, that's not bad, is it? It's £200. <laughs> What we've done is we've actually created your hamsters, their very own lottery machine, mm -hmm. and so we're going to see exactly how they do this for you. Now, Alan, will you be able to do your bit? Yes, I will. Thank you very much. So let's pick Chris's winning numbers. So, live on BBC One, thanks to Chris Jones of Wallasey, we proudly present the National Hamster Number Draw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lancelot and Guinevere. Draw mistress Anthea Turner, will you please release those hamsters? It must be what John Logie Baird had in mind. Here we go. Place them on the numbers. Here we go then, with the selection. Number 11. Number 33. Go on, number 42. Eating something there. <laughs> number 26. Oh, they've both gone off. Oh, and it's number four. One more to get, one more to choose. Oh, go on, Lancelot, go for one. Guinevere, what are you doing? Not up there, you can't go up there. Number 44! It gets more like pets win prizes, doesn't it, every week? No, it's not that. Now, then, these are going to be your numbers, are they, for next they week? Yep. Well, all I can say, good luck with those numbers, and we'll let them re uh, eat all the rest of the sweets here. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together for our stars here? that where you buy your lottery ticket is lucky. Well, the customers of Failsworth Discount Food Store in Manchester certainly do, and Krishnan, ever hopeful, went to buy his ticket there. How far would you travel to get a better chance of winning the National Lottery? Well, people have been flocking far and wide to what could be the luckiest lottery outlet in Britain, here in Manchester. So, Javid, what makes your shop so lucky? As you go outside at night time, you can see a big hand pointing down saying, this is a lucky shop. We've had uh, thousands of winners, but the main ones we've had was uh, a winner in February who won £7 million. We had a £2.5 million winner, that was about uh, three weeks ago, and somebody won £300,000 about four months ago. And I gather people have been sending you in their numbers? We've had numerous letters of people sending cheques through the post with their stamped address envelopes for the tickets to go back to them. Oh, well, I'll just go and get a few things. Calm and calm, how are you? Fine. Now, is this really such a lucky place? Yes, I've won £20. And, and I've had you? three £10 wins. 30 quid, that's yeah. not bad. Now, what yeah. am I going to have for tea? What about some of these kips? It's all right, cheers. Who was he? So, do you think this is a lucky place? I do, yeah. Well, how many times have you won? Just the once. How much? £2.5 million. Yeah. Yeah. We are. Anything else, Krishna? Oh, just the usual. Lucky black caps, we're out of stock, sir. Just my luck. Well, well, I thought the lucky black caps 
Mr. Meg's department. Now, do you remember last week when Mystic Meg said, Bin men, insurance workers, and a hypnotist will be celebrating too? Well, we don't have any bin men or insurance workers, but we do have a hypnotist. Please welcome Rob Peters. <laughs> I see hypnosis. Look at those eyes. Be very careful. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful with you. How much did you win? I won, Anthea. Ten pounds. It's not bad. <laughs> that. Listen, it's a pity. Is there any chance that you can hypnotise like machines and little balls? Actually, I think I've won tonight. I no. think. No. I do. Well, while you work on that one, let's find out who's going to be drawn into Mystic Meg's winning circle tonight. <laughs> Venus brings special luck for Pisces and Virgo and a family celebrating a reunion. The runes give the letters G and P to identify a big winner. Yes, it's a man who keeps his ticket in a silver tankard and is wearing a new wristwatch. A cat in a blue collar is close by. Photographers, ambulance drivers and a landlord We'll be celebrating to you. Ooh, well now, I'd like you to welcome tonight's special guest. It is Rockstar Meatloaf. <laughs> I thought my door wasn't going to open. Listen, well, I, I just got, will you hold this just for a okay, second? Right. Okay. I was uh, doing a, a film in the desert, uh -huh. uh, just, just finished, and I, I just brought you back a present, and I just wanted to give it to you now. It's, uh, I'll just show it to the audience. It's real rattlesnake eggs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Come on, what? No, just, just want you it's to look at it. It's not one of these things. I just look at it. I just look at it. You just went to a joke shop, it. didn't you, in yeah, Shepherd's Bush? Yeah, we loved it. No, I got it in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, Seriously. yeah, yeah, Seriously. yeah, yeah. No, Listen, you know when you were backstage trying to get through those doors, you didn't see yeah. that hypnotist, did you? Oh, yeah, I did. You know, he had a bunch of guys running around out there acting like chickens back no, there. No, he didn't. But, yeah, he, he said, try and, he know, tried like, to hypnotize me, and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he left me and said, you wait and see. All I got to do is snap my fingers. I went, Wait, you mean what? You mean just go like that? Like... Exciting. Hey, right, what shall we do with him, eh? Come on, <laughs> Mr. Meg, we need a prop. Mr. Meg prop. There you go, right. You are now Mr. Meat. I have news for a lady. <laughs> She's in our audience. <laughs> she has the initials H and B. And the word gardens is in her address, too. Wow! Anybody with those initials in the audience? Come out here, come and join me! Come on, get here! What's your name? My name's Anna Bailey. Well, I think we better get Mystic Meat back to meat. It's a, about time, about time. Do you want to take this off now? Is it no, no, I love this. Oh, I love this. I love this. Now then, I think you've got a special announcement, haven't you? I do. Anna? We have a very special announcement, and it is this. From the Heritage Council, they have awarded the Grove Gardens Chapel in Richmond, in Surrey, 150,000 pounds. <laughs> What are you going to do with that money? Well, the, the, the grant would be for the Environment Trust, uh -huh. a small charity in Richmond, to restore um, a derelict chapel, put back the roof, keep out the pigeons, and give yeah. it a new use yeah. as a centre for the community. Wonderful. That means meetings, uh, art groups, concert venues, concert venues yeah, you'll be able to do a gig there. Uh, and also because it's near Richmond Park. Yeah. Um, Aren't you supposed to keep out the wildlife? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a wonderful idea. Very, very glad you yes, got that money. You're going to put it to good use. Ladies and gentlemen, Anna Bailey. <laughs> Thank you very much.
playing the lottery while you've been over here? I have been playing the lottery. You bought any tickets? Yeah, I bought tickets. Yeah. I bought Let's tickets. Let's look at your numbers. No, no, wait. How I bought tickets, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these tickets. I'm going to pass these tickets out to you guys. How's that? Yeah. All right. All right. There is one condition to me passing out these tickets. Anything you win, we split. Listen, if he thinks that they're going to split it with him, he's got another thing coming. Let's find out what is in the jackpot tonight. Tonight's estimated prize fund total, £29,100,000. Which means the estimated jackpot this week is £9.1 million. Pounds. Drawmaster John Willans loading the machine, Paul Schofield, tonight's independent adjudicator. Earlier today, John, who spends hours in makeup himself, bumped into comedian Bobby Davro and asked him to choose tonight's machine. Bobby, he chose Guinevere, I can tell you, and set of balls number four. And there he is doing it now. We need to verify these facts. Bobby choosing Guinevere and set of balls number four. Well done, Bobby. Now then, let's go back to the beginning of the programme, shall we? When you saw me cycling into Television Centre with Meg running behind, I'm not actually sure quite how that happened. But on Monday, the Millennium Commission will finally be revealing their awards. However, tonight, we do feel very privileged on this programme to be announcing the first and, frankly, the biggest. This is John Grimshaw, and he is the Chief Executive of Sustrans, and it's very nice to have you with us here. Now, what does your company do? We build cycle paths all over the mm -hmm. country for walkers and cyclists and people in wheelchairs. And, and so why on. did you need this money? Well, we want to create a network over the whole country, 6,000 miles or so, going through as many towns and cities as possible so people can start cycling again. Now, this is going to benefit thousands and thousands of people all over the country, so the sooner you get the check, the sooner you can start working. We can share it with and everyone. here to present the check and to announce that figure is Meat Loaf. Yeah, big guy giving a big I check. I know. <laughs> Tell us how big it is. All right, this is a really big check, okay? This check is going to you, and you can do some bicycling with this sucker. It's, <laughs> is, uh, it's for coming along here. I'm going to be getting my bike out. And now let's pick those winning numbers. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. for the 43rd National Lottery Draw, live on the BBC. John Willen, please start up Guinevere. And release the balls. 9.1 million pounds at stake tonight. Meatloaf, will you please press the button and start the draw? Oh, OK, good luck out there. Just remember, we're splitting everything, folks. The Here National Lottery live at four and a half minutes past eight. Don't press it. Don't First press ball it. out is number 12. Fifth time now, we've seen number 12, yet to make its debut as a bonus ball. Next out, it's 22. Second week running for 22. One of the most drawn numbers, 11 times now, twice as bonus. Third ball is number 41. Last drawn two weeks ago. Been out eight times now, has yet to be the bonus, though. Fourth ball. That's number two. Last drawn on the 22nd of July. This is its fifth appearance as a main ball. Fifth ball to be selected tonight is number 20. Drawn twice in July, it's been bonus twice too. Seventh appearance tonight, this could make you rich. Number 45. Last drawn a month ago, been drawn six times now as a main board. If you've got five of these numbers, you need to know the bonus. It's 47. Now this week's lottery numbers in ascending numerical order. Number two. Number 12, number 20, number 22, number 41, number 45, and the bonus, 47. Oh. Wow! I hope some of those numbers were yours. Thanks very much to Meatloaf for starting you know our draw tonight. I won! Yeah, no, you won! Does that mean we share it? We've got Alex Gilroy next to you from Coronation Station.
also got another exclusive announcement, but we will see you next Saturday. Good night! Yeah.